Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In my 10 plus years of industry experience guys, I have seen mostly two kinds of people, okay? Somebody who says that he or she can code and somebody who says that no, no, coding is not my thing. I can't code. Now, if you are someone who is trying to start coding, who is trying to start learning coding, then I want you to target a position between these two. Okay. And that position will be, I can code with the help of internet. I'm going to tell you how to reach to this stage. What will be the difficulties in your path? and why it is extremely important for you to learn basic programming or coding. Without any further delay guys, let's get started. First of all guys, try to understand why coding or programming is important thing to learn for you. Now, if you see last 20 years of the industry, right? 2001, 2002 that time and 2021, 22 this time, you will see that tools, technologies, landscape, many things have changed. And what is the one thing that has not changed? The need for somebody who can write computer programs, the need for somebody who can write code. Languages may be changing. Somebody was a Java developer in 2010. He or she is a Python developer now. But the demand is still there. That is one aspect of why you should learn coding. Other aspect of this is people can't take you for a ride. I mean it guys. Suppose you are a project manager and you are supposed to give a timeline for a project. And in scenario one, you don't know head and tail of how this particular thing will be converted into computer programs. And you are dependent on your team to give you timelines. And in scenario two, you have some basic understanding of how this thing can be converted into program then in which scenario you will be more comfortable giving the timelines. That is one case. Second thing, when you are working in a team, right? Then also somebody gives you their piece of code and you don't understand what is happening there. You are somebody who takes a lot of time to, you are somebody who is trying to run from the code. I don't want you to be that person. Now it is not always necessary that you will do coding, but at least be that much comfortable where you are not always running from that. Okay. That is the importance of coding. Now for some of you guys who is coming from a different field, I will tell you some basic stuff about what is computer programming or coding and what are few high level things that you should know about coding or programming. First of all, what is coding? Coding is a language in which human interact with computer. For example, you understand English, I understand English, I am talking to you in this language. Human and computers do not understand the same language. So human talk to computers using coding languages or programming languages. Some of these can be Java, Python, C++, C, all these are programming or coding languages. You tell to computer what to do using these languages. That is high level what is coding or what is programming. Now talking of coding and programming, there are three areas that you need to understand guys. Okay. First area is what all can be done in the world of computer programming. Second area is what is a high level language and what is a low level language. And third area is what are the different things that can be done using different style of coding. Let's take a real world example and it will be very easy for you to understand. When you go to Facebook home page, right, there will be a box there you give your user ID and there will be a box there you give your password. Okay. And then you say enter. If you correct your user, if you enter your correct user ID and correct password, then you go to your landing page or home page. Now there are many things happening here, guys. Okay. You see a screen where you see a box to enter the, your name, username you see a box to enter your password. So somebody has written in a programming language, what should be the size for that box? What should be the color of that box? What should be the dimension of that box? How the username should look like? 
is there any image on the page how much that image will display all these things are called front end programming okay front end programming front end means an end that we are showing to the client in this case you are the client so this is your front end now at the moment you press enter your username and password is verified and then only your home page comes so that verification logic is called back end programming back end means something which we are hiding from the end user you don't know what is happening on the background it is hidden from you so that is your back end programming this is front end and back end next thing you should understand is there are some languages which are high level languages and there are some languages which are low level languages what is the meaning of this languages means nothing but different coding uh, just like we have normal languages on the world in the world we have different programming languages to talk to computers okay some languages are high level some are low level now what is the meaning of that suppose this is machine okay and this is human using using programming language human is trying to interact with the machine okay now this programming language can be more inclined towards machine which means it can be more inclined to a machine readable format or it can be more inclined to a human readable format which can be closer to how humans interact or it can be closer to how machine understand if your language is closer to here which means machines that is called a low level language if your language is closer to here that means a high level language so what is a high level language guys a language which is easy to understand for human easy to debug for human okay and python is one such language which is a high level language and it is easy to learn easy to debug easy to use and that is why it is very very popular low level languages are easy for machine to learn a machine to work on but not so programmer friendly okay this is what high level and low level languages and third thing you need to understand here about programming languages guys what are the different things that you can do using programming or coding some examples for you i gave you facebook example okay now you would you would be going to some superstore supermarts there you will see a person on the billing counter is kind of scanning the items and bill gets generated some application is running on the system that is your desktop application you might be playing some computer games that is your gaming application you might be using some whatsapp or some mobile apps that is your mobile apps so different different types of objectives you can achieve using programming languages in different different ways and different different programming languages having said all these things what is the language you should start learning or you should target as i told you guys high level languages will be easy to learn because it's more human friendly also you should try to learn a language which is which can be used on front end and back end both and you should try to learn a language which is a multi purpose language which means if needed i can build a web application using this if needed i can make a desktop application using this if needed i can do other tasks using this on all these parameters python is the language that i uh, suggest you to learn okay it will be very easy for you to learn and you can do many things with python next part comes how to learn python i will not go into much detail of this the reason being i have created a detailed video guys the link here you can see where i have given you topic wise list of how you should start learning python a complete road map from zero to a at least intermediate level how you can reach in python i have given you all the topics and i have also attached a excel sheet in the description where you will find where to learn those topics so that is the complete road map for you for learning python as a language why to learn python i already told you now comes the important part what will be the challenges when you start learning first thing i want you to understand here is just take your memories back to what was the experience when you were started when you were starting learning bicycle or uh, bike driving a bike or driving a car or learning swimming how was the experience when you first time entered in the water to learn swimming 
how was the experience when somebody told you you should learn floating first and then only try to you know put your hands and legs so that you will be able to swim how was that initial experiences very very difficult right and same thing you can experience you can experience and you can expect here it will not be an easy experience in the beginning but if you give time right it will start becoming smooth and smooth and smooth two things you have to focus on one is consistency and second is don't give up don't give up imagine in the first day only if you would have come out of the pool you would have never learned swimming okay consistency extremely important i don't want you to learn 6 hours one day and 0 hours next day no 1 to 1 and 1/2 hours but daily consistently that is how you have to go about it so now another tip i want to give you here is how to do some small small projects that will be very very interesting to do okay i'll give you a couple of examples so in your home suppose you are maintaining a excel sheet for doing some uh, calculations on your monthly expenses right so how much money is going in rent or emi or this expense grocery expense blah blah what you can do is you can take this excel sheet and you can create a expense tracker app for yourself where you will enter some input and it will kind of show you a pie chart or a histogram or some kind of visualization which you can observe and see where your money is going why i'm so saying you to do this is it will be interesting for you because that belongs to you okay suppose there is a doctor in your family right you can just tell him or her that give the patient's data not the complete patient's data but maybe some of your old patient's name age location you can collect some of these data and you can kind of give them a tool a simple utility which will tell them which patient has not visited for how much time all these things right so all these things you can do in your family and friend circle and it will be interesting for them also and for you also apart from that in the excel i have given lot of links where to do some small small projects okay so i hope i have covered many things in this video guys why it is very important for you to learn programming what you should target you should target a position where you can code with the help of internet how to go about learning what will be the challenges and what should be your commitments and this is what i intend to cover through this video how to start coding and not be afraid about it believe me guys it's not that difficult it seems like okay so i wish you all the best with your coding skills learning skills please drop me in comment how did you like this video guys and also after you finish your learning drop me a comment saying how was the experience i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care